was the very first object that visited our vicinity in the solar system from outside the solar system. Out of the cold, endless dark between the stars, something vast has entered our solar system. A silent traveler called 3i Atlas. At first, astronomers thought it was just another comet. But the deeper they looked, the stranger it became. It doesn't look like a typical comet where you see a beautiful tail of dust uh, stretching away from uh, the direction of the sun. Its path twisted against predictions. Its light refused to behave. And its structure, possibly over 30 miles wide, defied everything we know about natural space objects. It's moving too deliberately, glowing too intensely, and carrying signatures no comet should have. This isn't just a chunk of ice drifting through the void. It might be the largest interstellar visitor ever recorded, and perhaps the most unsettling one humanity has ever faced. The silent intruder from another star. Initially, 3i Atlas had a reddish color, which is common for objects that have been traveling through deep space for millions of years. But as it got closer to our sun, something weird happened. It started to glow an eerie, unmistakable green. What many overlooked was the cloud of dust and gas surrounding it, known as a coma. Most comets have a coma made of water, ice, and other elements. The coma of 3i Atlas, however, is mostly made of carbon dioxide. This unusual composition is a massive red flag that we're not dealing with an ordinary comet. But the weirdness doesn't stop there. You see, the object's path is another piece of the puzzle. It's flying into our solar system on a trajectory that is almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where all the planets orbit the sun. It's only off by five degrees, a level of precision that is statistically mind-boggling for a random object from interstellar space. It's like throwing a dart from miles away and hitting just outside the bullseye. It's traveling at an incredible speed, currently clocking in at over 130,000 miles per hour. During its closest approach to the sun, it will accelerate to a blistering 152,000 miles per hour. Perhaps the most baffling feature of 3i Atlas is its tail. A comet's tail is formed by the solar wind pushing gas and dust away from it, so it always points away from the sun. But not all things are what they seem. 3i Atlas has a tail that appears to be pointing towards the sun. This is a complete violation of everything we know about comets. It's like seeing smoke blow directly into a fire. Add to that a weird nickel to iron ratio and the most extreme negative polarization curve ever recorded from any object in space, and the picture becomes clear. 3i Atlas is an anomaly. It's not a comet. It's not a typical asteroid. It's something else, and it's getting closer every second. As scientists scramble for answers, the object is heading for a cosmic blind spot that could hide its true purpose. Every object that orbits the sun has a perihelion, a single moment when it reaches its closest point to our star. For 3i Atlas, that moment will arrive on October 29th. This is when the sun's gravitational pull is strongest and its radiation is most intense. For any normal comet, this is a moment of high drama. The heat can cause them to break apart release massive jets of gas, or even change their path. But 3i Atlas is no normal comet, and its perihelion is shrouded in an unsettling darkness. You see, just before this critical event, something else happens. On October 21st, the object will pass directly behind the Sun from our point of view on Earth. This is called a superior conjunction, and it creates a cosmic blind spot. For weeks, from mid-October until late November or even early December, the Sun's intense glare will make it impossible for our telescopes to see 3i Atlas. We will be completely blind. Think about that. At the most important moment of its journey, when it's under the most stress and most likely to reveal its true nature, we won't be able to watch. Many people are crazy about the idea that this timing is no accident. It presents a perfect opportunity for the object to do something without being observed. Could it change its trajectory? Could it slow down and enter a stable orbit? Some have even speculated that if it were a piece of technology, this would be the ideal moment to deploy smaller probes or perform a hidden maneuver. The thing nobody tells you is just how extreme the conditions will be for 3i Atlas during this period. 
It will be bathing in the full force of the solar wind, a stream of charged particles flowing from the sun at a million miles per hour. It will be blasted by radiation and intense magnetic fields. How will its unique carbon dioxide coma and bizarre electromagnetic properties react to this onslaught? Will it expand into a massive glowing envelope? Or will it be ripped away, revealing the solid object underneath for what it truly is? This interaction is a massive question mark. Because of its unique composition, its electromagnetic field is likely to be very different from a normal comet's. This means its interaction with the Sun could create effects we've never seen before, possibly even influencing the Sun's own activity. But not all things are what they seem. We're focused on what the Sun will do to the object, but what if the object does something to the Sun? A body that large, moving that fast, with its own powerful electromagnetic field, could theoretically cause a disturbance in the Sun's delicate balance. We will be watching our star for any unusual solar flares or activity, but we won't know for sure if 3I Atlas is the cause. We are left waiting in the dark, wondering what is happening on the other side of the sun. But the timing of this event isn't just a coincidence. It lines up with a celestial pattern that hasn't been seen in centuries. A prophecy written in the stars. For thousands of years, ancient cultures believed that the movements of the planets and stars held deep meaning. While modern science often dismisses this, the timing of 3I Atlas's arrival is so precise that it's forcing a second look. What many overlooked is that on October 29th, the exact day of the perihelion, the planets in our solar system will lock into an incredibly rare and powerful alignment. Astronomers call it a grand cross, a pattern of cosmic tension where planets form a giant X across the sky. This is happening at the same time as another rare pattern called a Grand Trine, creating a moment of profound astrological significance. And 3I Atlas is right in the middle of it all. Let's break down what this means in simple terms. At the moment of its closest approach, 3I Atlas will be in the constellation Virgo, which has always been associated with healing, order, and details. Directly opposite it will be Chiron, a celestial body known as the Wounded Healer, and Eris, the goddess of discord and chaos. It's a perfect opposition, order versus chaos, healing versus wounding. This alone would be a major event, but it's only one part of the cross. The other two arms are formed by Jupiter, the planet of expansion and power, in opposition to Pluto, the planet of deep transformation and rebirth. You see, it's as if the solar system is setting a stage for a massive drama. The Grand Cross creates a powerful field of tension, a feeling that something is about to break or change. It represents a clash of powerful forces. And right at this critical moment, this mysterious object from another star system flies through the heart of it. The thing nobody tells you is that it's acting as a wild card, an external influence that could trigger this cosmic tension. Is it possible that 3I Atlas is not just a random visitor, but a catalyst? Its arrival seems perfectly timed to amplify these energies of chaos, transformation, healing, and rebirth. Many people are crazy about the synchronicities, the object's discovery, its journey past Mars, its upcoming perihelion, and even its closest approach to Earth in December, which falls exactly on the winter solstice, all line up with key moments. It's a pattern too perfect to ignore. We are witnessing an object of unknown origin arrive at a moment of profound celestial alignment. It begs the question, is this simply the biggest coincidence in astronomical history, or is the universe sending a message? The answer might be waiting for us on the other side of the sun. While the stars might offer clues, the real question is what happens when we can finally see it again. So, with the enigmatic object known as 3I Atlas, now hidden behind the blinding glare of the sun, what happens next? The chilling truth is, we have to wait. We are flying completely blind. Officially, astronomers say there's a razor-thin chance we might catch a fleeting glimpse of it using highly specialized telescopes called coronagraphs. These instruments create a man-made eclipse, blocking out the sun's main light to see the superheated atmosphere around it, the corona. This is how we occasionally spot planets like Venus or Jupiter, when their orbits take them near the sun from our point of view. However, the chances for 3I Atlas are almost zero. 
The object is just too dim and too small to register. Its brightness, or apparent magnitude, is around a 12. To put that in perspective, the brightest planets we see in the night sky have magnitudes in the negative numbers. Even the most distant faint planets in our own solar system, like Uranus and Neptune, are hundreds of times brighter than 3 I Atlas. For it to appear on our screens, it would need to suddenly flare up, brightening thousands of times over, an event most mainstream scientists have confidently dismissed. This means we are stuck in an unnerving information blackout until at least late November, when we can finally point our most powerful telescopes back to where 3 I Atlas is supposed to be. We will face an unprecedented moment of truth. What will we see? The most mundane possibility is that it will still be there, continuing on its predicted path out of our solar system, a slightly battered but intact cosmic traveler. But what if its orbit has changed? What if its close pass by the sun altered it in ways we can't predict, perhaps breaking it into a cloud of shimmering pieces or stripping away its mysterious, impossible green coma for good? But this is where the theories get wilder. Some researchers, speaking in hushed tones, are asking a different question. What if this passage behind the sun wasn't an accident of orbital mechanics, but a deliberate maneuver? What if 3I Atlas is not a comet, but a probe, and it used the sun as a cosmic smokescreen to perform a hidden objective? Perhaps it was refueling, drawing immense power from the star's plasma. Or maybe it was downloading data, using the sun's energy to transmit a message to its home world, a message we were never meant to intercept. Another shocking theory suggests a form of cosmic metamorphosis. The sun's furnace of gravity and radiation might not be a hazard, but a catalyst. What if 3I Atlas is a kind of celestial egg, a vessel carrying something dormant? The intense solar radiation could be the very thing needed to trigger a transformation. When it emerges, it might not be a dull rock anymore. It could be an activated piece of technology, or something far stranger, a nascent life form finally awakened by the star it was designed to approach. Then there's the most mind-bending idea of all, that the sun is not just a star, but a gateway. Ancient civilizations worshiped the sun as a portal for the gods, and some fringe physicists have theorized that massive gravitational bodies could warp space-time itself. What if 3I Atlas wasn't just performing a slingshot maneuver around the sun, but through it? using the sun's immense gravity as an off-ramp from our dimension, a shortcut to a distant point in the galaxy. If this is true, when we look in November, we will see nothing at all. Not because it was destroyed, but because it's already gone, having exited our reality. Even if it appears completely normal, that doesn't mean nothing happened. Its powerful electromagnetic presence, interacting with the sun's own colossal magnetic field, could have left an indelible, yet subtle impact on the inner solar system, an energetic ripple we are only beginning to understand. We are now in a period of deeply unsettling silence. Will 3I Atlas leave our solar system as a silent mystery, or is it a trigger for something we can't yet imagine? Let us know your theory below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more answers to the universe's biggest questions.